Hello, we are now on our second set of actions in uh, valuation concepts and methods. So let's review what we have taken up in our uh, first discussion of the two actions. Now we discussed last time that finance is, uh, is all about cash. It's the king. Uh, not the profit, which is the focus of accounting. Why cash? Because it is liquidity. And uh, and when you talk about liquidity, that would be a sourcing of funds. And it is a financing decision under the financing activities of the statement of cash flow. And you need to um, differentiate between long-term and short-term supply of funds or sources of funds your inflow and it would be uh, focusing on the future and the concept that we apply would be cash concept no and it's quite very different when you look at accounting because accounting is about profit and profitability performance and that would be uh, reflected in your operating activities and the supplied funds, the inflow, what you have uh, sourced out should have earnings and should be productive on a short-term basis because profitability will be um, presented in your statement of operations which focuses only for a certain period of time which is normally a year, no? And of course, accounting is past, and the concept applied for you to determine profitability is accrual concept. So, uh, in every decision that you have to make, uh, you have to uh, do remember that there's always a timing differences. And finance is really the F word. It's about a future decisions in looking for funds to finance operation. Now. What did we talk about last time when we talk about when we look at risks and return? Risk would be a cash outlay and um, expenditure, and it is cost in accounting. Return would be receipts, inflow, and benefits. Since it is future, these are all expected outlay and expected receipts. And the adage that apply here that we are going to apply for the whole semester as basis of our decision the higher the risk, you'll have a higher return. And uh, why there's higher risk? Because you don't have any assurance at all what will happen in the future. We don't know if our expectation will actually be realized, if that would be the reality. And the valuation model that you're going to use will be very much dependent upon the financing and investing activities that you have opted to choose and that would be somehow affected, no, very much affected by the risk attitude that the organization has. And since you're all accounting students, we always relate it to the accounting equation. And if it is in finance, uh, the creditor and the owner would supply the funds, so that would be financing activity. And what you were able to source out, of course, you will be investing it for you to to be more productive. Kasi sabi natin, cash is the most unproductive asset. If you don't put it into uh, some use or if you don't uh, put it into an activity, uh, you don't use it, then you won't have any uh, fruit of your labor. Okay? So let's go to the next one. What is the third uh, action? That would be time value of money. And what is the perspective of time? You have future, you have uh, the present, and you have the past. Okay, that's your perspective. And and if it is the future, how can we relate that in time value of money? Do you remember in your business math, we have the concept of compounding. And when you talk about the past, in business math, that would be discounting. And in what manner would present be related? Well, 
present would be you have to make the decisions now. Although ito, um, this one we normally associate with the word present. Diba? Um, and the, the input will now be um, coming from your uh, computed future benefits. So with time value of money, um, we would be applying compounding and we're going to apply compounding and discounting. Almost everything that we're going to discuss, you need to actually um, co compute the present value. So pagka compounding, you are computing for the future value. And kapag ka discounting, you are computing for the present value. Okay? And there are models that we are going to use when we are going to determine the future value and the present value. No? So, yun yung crucial sa time value of money. Kasi yung, yung decision that you have to make are all... Uh, going to affect your future and since this is going to affect your your future uh, it it would be uh, somehow very much dependent upon the decisions you have to make in the present or now diba? Kasi lahat naman decision na ginagawa ngayon and um besides there is there's always timing differences and because of the timing differences you have to uh, factor in the time value of money. Kasi di ba sa Econ, meron tayong inflation. And it really changes the value of money. Di ba? Dati nun yung 1,000 mo, ang daming nabibili. Or kung dati nung, nung high school ka, uh, yung 100 mo, masaya ka na. Ngayon, masaya ka pa ba sa 100 mo? Kung baga, sabi nga, uh, hanggang saan ang mararating nung 100 pesos mo? Di ba? Okay, so let's take a look at the incremental cash flow. Pag sinabing incremental, these are all about changes. Pag ikaw nakipagrelasyon, di ba, ang tinitingnan mo, mas dapat ang focus mo, changes. Bakit changes? Kasi you have to know what will be your focus. You have to set your uh, priorities. Do you have uh, all the time in this world? Hindi eh, di ba? Um, remember, ang madalas na constraint natin, ano? Ano madalas na constraint natin? Ang madalas na constraint natin, time. We only have 24 hours. So, napaka-crucial nung setting of priorities. And your priority will be uh, look at the changes. Kasi ang nagiging relevant lang naman, pag, pag ikaw ay gagawa ng desisyon, ano ba, yung, ano ba yung nabago? Kasi ang hirap pag uh, hindi mo titingnan, pag lahat titingnan mo, yung tipong uh, you, would, you would look at that, the, the, what is relevant and also what is irrelevant. Kaya pag sa accounting, Saan ina-apply itong incremental cash flow? Di ba may tinatawag tayong differential analysis? Yan yun, pag sa accounting. Yung ina-apply, tinitingnan nyo lang kung ano yung mas nabago kasi dun, dun magbabase yung pagsiset mo ng priorities mo. Eh, if only the changes will count, then in finance, um, how can we know the changes? You have to go back to your statistics. Do remember in, stati in statistics, that's where you are computing for your deviation. You are um, even uh, look at uh, which among the factors that change would have a, a significant effect. Um, ano yung model na ginagamit para malaman mo yung which among the factors would have a, a significant effect? Sa tingin nyo, anong model yun? Would, would it be um, linear programming or uh, regression analysis? 
So, tinitingnan natin alin ang significant, no? Doon sa mga bagay na nakaka-apekto sa atin. Yan yung nasa uh, tinatawag mong correlation analysis. Diba? We are looking at the, kung correlation analysis yan, yung pagdating doon sa knowing the factors which are significant, di ba the higher the value of R square pagdating sa sa correlation, eh, yun yung uh, may mataas na epekto sa'yo. Kaya nga, it's all about changes. Yung, kaya yung stat nyo kailangan nyo talaga dito sa finance. Very much related siya. Kasi yung deviation, yung deviation, um, it would uh, actually give us an idea if yung expectation mo, no? expectation, is it somehow near the reality? You have to study uh, what happened before. Um, so, that's reality. And, and now you're going to set your expectation. And by computing the deviation, you would know the differences. Diba? Kaya nga sa accounting, diba, meron din tayong um, yung nagko-compute tayo ng variances. Kasi sa accounting, yan yun, yung variances, deviation. And uh, also, pag sa accounting, ano tong mga tipong uh, sig significant differences? Paano mo uh, na na nadidetermine yung significant differences? Well, aside from differential analysis, ano pa yung isa? You you also have you also have responsibility accounting. Doon 'yan. Eh ma'am sa finance, ano yung pa paano paano mo gagawin yung yung uh, focusing on the changes? Eh titingnan mo lang yung mga uh, tumaas ba, no? Kung tumaas ba o bumaba ba yung iyong cash and determine which which among yung tumaas at bumaba ay very significant kasi yung significant sabi nga materia yung material yung makakaapekto no di ba pag sinabing material pag sinabing material ano yan pag sinabing material ano siya yung makakaapekto sa decision mo. Di ba ganun yun? Pag sinabing material, may effect saan? May effect kay D. Sino si D? Decisions. No? Kaya ganun na, only changes will count. Ma'am, um, may relasyon ba yan sa ibang subject matter? Yung only changes will, will count? Kung sa accounting, ito ay uh, differential analysis at saka responsibility accounting. Pag, pag sa management, ano yan? Uh, pwede nyo sabihin sa management ay management by ano yan? Ex exemption. No? Sa management, pwede nyo ring i-relate yan. Yung um, only changes will count. No? yung particular concept na yan. So, let's summarize. If it is time value of money, you focus on the future and you focus on the present. You need to compute for the future value and you have to compute for the present value and the process of determining the future value is compounding and the process of determining the present value is discounting. In what manner? Would um, your past would be related to your future and the present? It will bridge the gap of timing differences because you have to make decisions now which would have an effect to your future and the time value of money is affected by your economic economics discipline uh, because uh, inflation would be uh, a factor that would affect the different valuation models. No? And how about the incremental cash flow, the fourth one? In simplest term, ang ibig lang sabihin yan, only changes will count. Pag may karelasyon ka, aba, ang tingnan mo kung ano yung nababago sa karelasyon mo kasi doon ka lang mag-a-adjust. 
well, siyempre ang nakaraan ay nakaraan. Um, wag mo nang isipin yon. Ang importante, ano ang meron kayo ngayon at ano ang uh, magiging future nyong dalawa. And with us, that would be, uh, teka, tataas ba o bababa yung pera ko sa mga darating na panahon? Kasi yung changes, siya ang magde-define ng priorities ko na dahil I need to determine which would ha which would be the different factors uh, or material kasi siya yung makakaapekto sa decision ko. Sa accounting, differential analysis yan tsaka responsibility accounting concept. Pag sa management, management by exemption. Sa stat, para makita mo yung significant changes, alin yung gagawin mong number one, number two, no? That would be standard deviation. Kasi siya nagsasabi kung malapit ba yung, yung naiset mong expectation sa reality. Eh, kadaming nangyayari sa buhay mo, kaya you have to make use of correlation analysis. Compute for your R-square kasi siya yung magsasabi sa mga bagay na nakakaapekto sa iyo alin yung pinaka mataas ang effect alin yung pinaka malakas ang ang uh, magiging dating sa iyo para lang yang kung ikaw eh, may mga manliligaw alin yung pinaka magugustuhan mo di ba tapos ko ikaw naman yung nanunuyo alin dun sa mga naaakit ka yung medyo mas mataas ang level ng ng epekto sa iyo, no? Yun yung significance. So, we're done with the four 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 actions, no? In in our discussion, I hope uh, you'd be able to uh, reflect so that later you can give feedback, no? And when we have our wrap up, you'd be able to um, I would be able to uh, answer the queries that you have no okay thank you and good day